if you look at all the tribal stories around the moon in different countries that you know they talk about the time before the moon um and a lot of it's tied into the flood too and i I don't yeah. even I don't even know how much like I think there was definitely a physical flood, but I I look at it um, symbolically as well too as much of a a shift in frequency that occurred. And so what the point I was getting to that if um, the AI mimic is compressing itself, then you look at the the moon as almost a adversary of the Earth itself, um, and then you look at saturn as the adversary of the of the sun and you know there's so many different <laughs> bizarre things with saturn so you know like they even call the rings all the notes of the <laughs> the different musical notes and everything for like norman bergen was showing how they these rings were still forming they were creating greater form and they're, they're really just a they're just a physical representation of a sound wave that's being beamed from that planet so i almost look at um saturn Saturn is kind of like the the big 5G tower and then the moon is like the little smart cell or smart meter at the front of your house and it's constantly beaming in a frequency that's artificial. Yeah. And they you know when we switched out when we switched over to digital TVs, I can't it was probably like 10 12 years ago something like that. Yeah. I remember reading an article at the time and they were saying go out and look at the night sky tonight because it's the last time you're ever going to see the night sky as it is because once we switch over to digital a lot of these stars aren't going to be won't be visible due to you know the frequency spectrum is going to change and just that one little thing shows an example of how a frequency can actually change your visual perception of what we're what we're living in so if you think of the scale of what they're doing now because you look at everything as compressions again too so if you look at a, a 5g tower that has to be a smaller fractal of something that's occurring on a grander scale so if that 5g tower here is occurring then that it doesn't look as crazy when you look that saturn is what can be a hijacked planetoid that is a form of technology that is beaming an artificial frequency and then you look at so many of the different cults you know the saturnian yeah. cults around the world and that you know even um i mean the best ones the in um mecca where they they actually walk around the black cube in the in yeah. the rings of saturn it's like they actually they're creating an energetic sync with that vibrational frequency of of that so i i do think that, i mean like david ike's done done a lot of stuff on this as well jordan maxwell done heaps um who's out there jay wilder he's done a lot of good stuff on the Saturn Moon Matrix. So like, there's plenty out there for people to look at. But yeah, it's that's kind of how I look at it. And it's it, because it, uh, people tend to think artificial intelligence is like you know it's computers and it's right. algorithms that exist on the internet and it's five G towers and yeah, it is all those things. But I'm saying that they're they're a microcosm compression of something far greater that is that is orchestrating um, a synthetic reality. Yeah.